Hi everyone, welcome to Paint Technology. In this lecture, we will be discussing very important topic that is types of paints and paint manufacturing. Let us start with classification of paints by their functions. Paint is colored non-transparent protective coating. Let us define varnish. Transparent or semi-transparent protective coating. A varnish is made of binder, solvent and additives. Some varnishes contain small amount of pigment. Varnish offer a hard, chemical resistant protective layer compared to stains and some paints. Varnishes are either very hard or brittle or soft and elastic. Alkyl varnishes are chemically modified vegetable oils which perform well in wide range of conditions. Next part of the paint is enamel. Enamel is hard, protective and durable coating with glossy finish based on oil modified alkyl resin. Primer. Primer is the first coating applied onto surface in order to enhance the adhesion of final paint that is called top coat and to seal the surface of substrate. Classification of paints based on binders used. Alkyd paints. Alkyd paints have alkyd resin as a binder which is chemically modified soybean or linseed oil. Latex paints. Latex paints have acrylic emulsion polymer as a binder that coalesces as water evaporates from the emulsion and forms the film. Epoxy paints. Epoxy paints uses epoxy resin as a binder for increased resistance to corrosion, abrasion and chemicals. It is cured with addition of amine curing agent. Classification of paints based on properties. Rust inhibiting paints and primers. Fire retardant paints. Heat resistant paints. Curing of paint or paint curing. Paint curing is the process of converting the applied wet film to a dry film. Paint may cure by evaporation of solvent, for example lacquers and emulsion, chemical reaction between two components such as enamels, oxidation in case of oil based house paints, paint gets cured by melting and re-solidifying or melting and cross-linking in case of powder coatings. Now we will study primer paints. Primer paints. In all types of painting work, there is one main rule. That is, before applying any surface finish, it is required to apply a primer coat. Primer, as indicated by the generic name, are the products that make surface ready for accepting a subsequent paint. Primer paints are base coats which hides the defects of surface and creates anchorage for subsequent coating. They improve adhesion and provide protective layer that is not permeable to moisture, oxygen and other substances that may cause corrosion. These are different photographs of primer paints. Function of primer paint. Primer is usually white. Primer seals, pores, lines and cracks in new surface. Primer ensures better adhesion, anchorage and key to subsequent paints to be applied to the surface for durability. Primer helps the substrate to remain non-porous to keep out humidity. Primer provides additional protection for material being painted. Primer provides protection against corrosion and dampness by creating impervious barrier to corrosive ions, water and oxygen. Primers are formulated at high pigment volume concentration that is PVC, it should be more than 40% and they do not require surface dryers. This helps to reduce cost. Typical application of primer paints. Primer paint is applied on structural steel, piping, cranes, building frames, bridges, towers and tanks. It is also used on prefabricated structure, wood surface and roofing. Composition of primer varies according to requirement of substrate such as steel, aluminium, galvanized surface, wood and machinery. For steel substrate, solvent based steel primer, zinc rich primer, zinc ethyl silicate etc are used. Red oxide based primers are commonly used steel primers having following advantages. Red oxide is a stable oxide. Due to high refractive index of red oxide, which is better than titanium oxide, it provides good hiding. It is quite inexpensive mineral. Primer provides adequate resistance to degradation and dilute alkali and mild acids. It is resistant to UV light. It do not permeate oxygen and water. Okay. However, in red oxide primers, Red oxide pigments are hard to grind and have tendency of pigment settling. It is obvious because of their density is very high, 5.6. It increases weight per liter value 
if incorporated more and are soluble in concentrated mineral acids and it can get attacked in reducing atmosphere. Hence, cannot be used in chemical resistant paints. In this part of lecture, we will study water based paints. Water based or aqueous coatings can be divided roughly into three types water soluble, water dispersible, and water reducible. These can be simplified into solution types and dispersion types. The term solution allows us to involve the terms of collides and suspensions. In solution, the particle size is less than 0.001 microns in diameter. In collides, the particle size is between 0.001 to 0.2 microns in diameter. Suspension. In suspension, particle size is greater than 0.2 microns in diameter. Advantages of water-based paints. Water-based paints have less odor once applied to surfaces. Easy to apply. Strong adaptability in any environment. Water-based paints dry more quickly than their solvent-based counterparts. Drying time is 4 to 6 hours and ready for application of a second coat. Multiple finish from stain wood and gloss are possible with water-based paints. Water paints are elastic and finishes are resistant to peeling and keep its color. No yellowing for whites and other colors. Coating tools after application are easy to clean. Disadvantages of water-based paints. The surfaces of substrate should be clean otherwise it will lead to film shrinkage. To avoid corrosion of coating equipment, MOC of this equipment must be stainless steel. Water-based paints have lower thermal stability and poor water resistance. Water-based paints contain high boiling point additive and on baking it will produce soot which affects the appearance of coating surface. Due to evaporated water has low latent heat, paint film drying time is relatively slow. Water-based paints are expensive than solvent-based paint. Now we will understand what is distemper. Distemper. Distemper paint is an old type of paint and is most popular interior finish for walls. It represents the lower end of the market for slightly better than lime wash. Powdered distempers are called as a dry distempers and paste form distempers is called as a oil bound distemper or OBD. Dry powdered distempers are made of natural clays, calcine clays, whiting, chalk, china clay and mineral inorganic colors. For coloration, 1% thalosanin blue is used. Hiding is achieved by dry hiding in case of distemper. Now let us discuss advantages of distemper paint. Distemper can be directly applied on cement surface without surface preparation and primer. They are less expensive compared to other alternatives. They are durable for 3 to 5 years. They do not dry or crack in sunlight. Now let us understand what are disadvantages of distemper paint. The quality will not be great while compared to other paints. Distemper paint peels off when wet. It is not fully washable. Color of distemper paint will fade away over the time faster than emulsion paint. Plastic emulsion paints. Plastic emulsion paint is water based wall paint. It is based on acrylic emulsion and provide a smooth matte finish to the walls. These paints have gained popularity because of their ease of application, quick drying properties, non-objectionable odor and good washability. Acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is a fast drying paint made by using acrylic polymer emulsion. Acrylic paints are water soluble but becomes water resistant when dry. Cement paints. Cement paint is a water based paint and is applied either exterior or interior including brickwork and concrete for preventing water penetration, reduction in dirt collection and decorative walls. Benefits of cement paint. Cement paint is economical and is inexpensive way to cover large areas. Better performance for outdoor protection and decoration. Cement paint can be made available in various shades. In this part, we will study solon based paints. Solon based paints. Solon based paints oil paints are conventionally called enamel paint. It is a term that is used to refer a paint with hard glossy and opaque finish. Historically enamel paint has been used to refer to any type of oil or alkyd resin based paint and with a considerable glossy finish. Enamels are available in a wide spectrum of colors and a number of sheens including eggshell, 
लो लस्टर सैटीन फ्लैट फिनिश ग्लॉस सेमी ग्लॉस एंड हाई ग्लॉस अमंग मेनी अदर्स स्टेप्स इन इनामल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस एक्यूरेट वेमेंट्स ऑफ इन्ग्रीडियंट्स नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज मिल बेस प्रिपरेशन एंड पिगमेंट डिस्पर्शन पिगमेंट डिस्पर्शन प्रोसेस वेटिंग इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन डिस्पर्शन प्रोसेस पिगमेंट्स एंड फिलर्स आर सॉलिड पार्टिकल्स आर ग्लूड टुगेदर इन क्लस्टर्स कॉल्ड एग्लोमरेट्स ड्यूरिंग वेटिंग द एयर दैट इज सराउंड द पार्टिकल इन एन एग्लोमरेट इज सब्सटिट्यूटेड बाय रेजिन द फिगर शोन इन स्लाइड शोज हाउ एयर इज रिप्लेस बाय यूजिंग वेटिंग ऑफ अ सॉलिड पार्टिकल्स नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग इपॉक्सी पेंट्स epoxy paints epoxy paints are used for waterproofing applications such as roofing ceiling bonding concrete repairs weather and metal protection corrosion resistance before and after repair industrial flooring playgrounds water pass bathrooms chemical resistant non slip flooring for stadium gymnasium and industry amino epoxy co cure system complex three dimensional structure is obtained by stowing amino epoxy resin at or above 150 degrees centigrade combined features of epoxy resin and amino resin will be received with excellent adhesion chemical resistance and gloss color retention and good flexibility now let us discuss two component polyurethane paint out of two components one component comprises the polyol component which is hydroxyl functional polymer along with catalyst pigment solvent and additives while the second compound is essentially isocyanate polymer along with moisture free solvent now let us understand the film forming process of a solvent based paint film formation is the conversion of coating from a liquid state into a integral solid film after application so that the coated article can start to be usefully employed the liquid coating is transferred into dry or solid film after application of materials powder coating are also liquefied after application and transferred into a solid film both physical and chemical changes occur in the process which is known as film formation the film formation process is critical to a final appearance and functionality of the coating